The Jaguars All 25, presented by Sharpie. Number one, Tony Baselli. It's a shame the guy isn't in the Hall of Fame. I don't think there's any question about that. He should be in there. They're doing him a disservice. He's the best offensive tackle I've seen in my lifetime with my own two eyes. Mark takes the snap, drops through throw, pocket collapsing, sets up the screen. Taylor's got it with room. Taylor's with the 15. Taylor's with the 10. Taylor goes to the 5. Touchdown, Fred Taylor. Grinnell has Shelton in the backfield, dropping to throw. Grinnell with time, looking long down the field for Jimmy Smith, who's got separation, and he makes the catch. Touchdown! Brunel under center, Quentin New Year. Head bobbing from left to right, drops to throw. Has time. Now looks long downfield for Keenan McCardell. McCardell's got the ball. 10, 5, touchdown, Jacksonville. Tony Baselli played left tackle in Jacksonville for seven seasons. He was named to five straight Pro Bowls and was an all pro three times. He played a position that goes unnoticed. But when 71 was on the field, you couldn't take your eyes off him. Tony Baselli was the only offensive lineman that I ever just watched him play at times, where I just watch him destroy a defensive end coming towards him uh, because he was so good. He had a defensive lineman's mentality and an offensive lineman's body, and he ran like a tight end or a linebacker. That's the thing about Tony Baselli. He was mean and nasty on the football field. He played the game a violent way, challenged everybody, took all challengers, and, and was a great player. To be that kind of an athlete, to be able to move as he did at that size and be as nasty as you wanted to uh, run in the football, uh, tells you everything you need to know. He wanted to hurt you. Tony Baselli didn't want to just keep you off of his quarterback. That's, that's what average tackles do. Tony Baselli wanted to put you in the long coat on the sidelines and end your day. He was born to play the position, 6'7", 320. When you looked at him, you said, there's a left tackle. But even if he had been 6'5", 6'4", 295, his desire, his competitiveness, he would have found a way to be good. The whole package made him great. While Baselli was in Jacksonville, it was not a coincidence that the Jaguars had their best season. Big number 71's presence made the Jaguars better. You've got a guy in the left tackle who made the quarterback better and who made the other team's pass rushers worse. Uh, and that, there's a reason why the Jaguars had their best years when Tony Baselli was at his best. For five years, I think he was the best tackle, uh, best left tackle in, uh, in uh, pro football. I think he was as good, if not better, than uh, those other tackles who are in the Hall of Fame. He was the best tackle in, in, in football for a five-year period. If he wasn't the best tackle at the end of his rookie season, by the end of his second season, everyone recognized this kid had rare talent. When he faced the best players, the best players did nothing, nothing against him. Vaselli was named to the 90s All-Decade team. He earned that recognition based on the way he played against the league's best. The Bruce Smith game in Buffalo is legendary. He played Reggie White. He played against Mike McCreary. He played against John Randall. He played against these great, great pass rushers, Greg Lloyd and Kevin Green, and he always handled them. If you're uh... Bruce Smith or uh, Reggie White, you don't, you don't want you don't want to have to play against this and get blocked all over the field and and, and, and lose your you know see your reputation uh, suffer. Baselli's breakout performance came during the wild card round of the 1996 playoffs. The former first round draft pick dominated future Hall of Famer Bruce Smith. Tony Baselli, as this game has gone on, has just gained more and more confidence for Tom Coughlin in this Jaguar offense. Now he's just taking Smith everywhere. Smith out wide, watch Baselli's feet. Hangs in there, gets the hand shot out in tight against the run. It's a battle. Smith is getting frustrated. Baselli doing a good job. One on one with Bruce Smith. Nobody to help him. It's an open end. He's got to keep those feet moving. Does a terrific job of running him around the cup. Here he's lined up out in space. Baselli just stones him and allows Brunel a chance to escape. The fact that Bruce Smith won't talk about him tells you everything you need to know about Tony Baselli. The Bruce Smith game. I mean, all you have to do is look at the Bruce Smith game. The guy was the defensive player of the year, and Tony threw him around like he was a child. Bruce Smith was never the same after that game, and neither was Tony. <laughs> it's an incredible story. Baselli was the Jaguars' first ever draft pick, and he is on his way to be the team's first ever Hall of Famer. Jacksonville Jaguars have selected tackle Southern California, Tony Baselli. For him to 
not only live up to his draft status, but live beyond the draft status to be a generational left tackle, to be as good as he was. When he gets in the Hall of Fame, and he will get in the Hall of Fame, it'll be the most remarkable story along those lines, maybe in NFL history. Not only did he become the face of the franchise while he was playing, he remains an icon in Jacksonville. He, he remains a guy that people associate with the franchise. It's hard to imagine a better first pick in a draft than Tony Baselli was for the Jaguars. He should be in the Hall of Fame, and it's a travesty that he's not. An absolute, unabashed travesty that he's not in the Hall of Fame. When Tony played, it was hard to play left tackle, and he was a great one. And the great ones in that era, Willie Rofe, uh, Jonathan Ogden, uh, the, uh, Walter Jones, they're in the Hall. They were shoe-ins. How in the world is this guy not in? He's one of the best football players I ever saw. He's a Hall of Famer. If he had played two more years of terrible football, of the worst football he had ever played, he'd already be in just because people would see the games and wouldn't use that as a, a little bit of a, uh, uh, of a limiting factor. I think he's going to get in one day, and so I try to focus on that. I get frustrated. Uh, I don't understand the argument because the only argument against Tony is games played. And that argument has been shattered by the likes of Easley and Terrell Davis. And in fact, if you go look at all the Hall of Famers, there are a lot of guys that he played more games than already. Baselli became the first member of the pride of the Jaguars in 2006. He is the most influential player in team history and is part of the fabric of the organization. He's the best player in team history. Uh, the first pick in team history is the best player in team history. Everybody else is fighting for second because he should be in the Hall of Fame already. So uh, Tony Baselli is the best Jacksonville Jaguar of all time. This franchise can't thank Tony Baselli enough for what he has meant to it in terms of representation. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame. And the caravan of people that will drive to Canton for that induction out of this city, it'll be the first Hall of Famer we've ever had will be monumental, it'll be epic. I'm telling you, there will be a caravan, they'll have to shut down I-95 to have these people go to Canton and watch uh, Tony Baselli get in because he so deserves it. Tony Baselli is the best player in Jaguars history. Hey, Tony Baselli here. Thanks for having me on the Jaguars All-25. It's been 25 seasons, it's been amazing. And what an honor to be a part of this organization, being the first overall pick, living in this city. I could not have be happier that I was picked by this organization. I want to thank all the fans, all the support. It's been an amazing run, and the best days are ahead of us. Go Jaguars, Duval!